Okay, so we're gonna try this on the first try, so I don't keep doing it. Questions for Sarah, or that I'm answering. First one, how did we meet? There's two answers to this. Um, the one everybody knows and the one that is a truthful answer. Um, I'm gonna give both, and Sydney, can, you can cut this out if you want to. I'll give the um, truthful one first. Truthful one first is we met on um, Tinder, and um, yeah, uh, about a year before we went on our first date, so and then she rejected me three times. Um, and then the one we give everybody is we met at the bar at CWP, um, and then didn't really exchange phone numbers and didn't really start talking um, until a year later. But you can cut that first one out, Sarah, if she doesn't want to um, say it. Um, next question. How did we, what did we do on our first date and rate it one to 10? Um, our first date consisted of going to Riverwalk, um, sitting on a bench for about two hours, which it wasn't supposed to be two hours, but it ended up being two hours. And I would say that was a 10 out of 10 first date. I don't think you could have got any better. Um, kind of set our relationship up to what it is today. Um, this one, what do I do that annoys Sarah? There's a lot of things I do that annoys Sarah. Um, a lot. Um, but I would say the biggest thing, the biggest pet, fee, pet peeve, um, or the, not the pet peeve, that's a different question. The biggest thing that annoys her is when I lay socks in places socks shouldn't be, specifically um, dirty socks. She cannot stand that. Um, so yeah, anywhere but the hamper where they're supposed to be, she flips out. Um, and I hope that's her question because I can't think of another one. Even there's probably a lot. Who's a better dog parent to Bailey? I was the first dog parent to Bailey. I picked her out. Um, Bailey is definitely a daddy's girl. Um, through and through. She loves her mama, but she's definitely a daddy's girl. Um, I would say there's two kind of parts to this question. I'm better at disciplining Bailey. She listens to me better. Um, she clearly knows that, you know, who lays down the law. Um, and Sarah's definitely better at... Um, being a nurturing parent and being there for Bailey after she gets in trouble. Bailey knows exactly who to run to um, when she gets in trouble. Um, favorite thing that we do together, um, favorite thing to do together, um, I would say that our favorite thing to do together is probably um, go on walks together. Um, just kind of, you know, sit and enjoy each other's company. Um, just being together is probably our favorite thing to do together. Um, going on drives, um, stuff like that. Her biggest pet peeve, I would say her, this one's kind of a hard one. In my opinion, she may answer it pretty easily. Um, but I would say one of her biggest pet peeves doesn't necessarily revolve around me. Um... I don't know, actually. What bothers Sarah? I knew I was gonna mess up on this. Um, I don't know. I would say people that don't communicate well. That's a that's a big pet peeve of her. Like if you if you want something done, if you're gonna do something, you gotta say something. Like communication is key for her. And if it doesn't, it really gets on her nerves. Um, sorry, that's probably a bad answer. But what's something in the condo she would love to get rid of? This is the easy one. She hates my computer. I don't I don't you know I don't use it as much as I used to. Um, she hates that damn thing, um, and she would throw it out the back porch if she could. Um, fun fact is Sydney's already tried to destroy my computer one time. Um, sure that'll gain some laughs in this, but, um, she probably wishes Sydney did destroy that computer, but it's still there. Um, where was our first kiss? I'm pretty sure our first kiss was at Empire. I hope that's right. Cause I'm probably gonna get in trouble. That's not right. Um, so yeah, 
um, which is her apartment, for those of you who don't know. Um, he'll apologize first. Sarah apologizes for everything. Like, it could have nothing. Like, I could stub my toe in the in the freaking condo, and I say, ow, and she's like, I'm sorry. Um, I would say apologize first is an argument. I would say um, when it comes to an argument, Sarah usually doesn't apologize first. Um, usually I'm the one, because I'm the hothead sometimes, so usually I'm the one that comes and apologizes, and then she apologizes. Because when we get in an argument, Sarah is very stubborn, and she thinks she's right, and when she thinks she's right, she's not apologizing. So, but for some reason, she apologizes for everything else in this world. Um, favorite memory of each other? I would say our favorite memory was when, first time I took her hunting with me, or maybe not the f first time she shot a deer, may not have been the first time she actually went hunting with me. Um... You know, that's that's one of my favorite places in this world besides being with Sarah. Um, and to bring her into that, you know, and to be able to teach her and to be able to um, see the joy in her eyes that um, that moment created for her too, I think was um, really cool for me. Um, who said I love you first? Sarah will tell you she said it first. I made her say it, say it first um, just because I knew that it would mean a lot more coming from her first. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping I'm doing this right. I don't know how to do this. Um, Sarah will also tell you I hate questions. I hate doing questions. She tries to get me to do them all the time, and I can't stand them. So bear with me. Who wears the pants in a relationship? Sarah will probably take negative five seconds to answer this question and say I do. She's stubborn. She likes to get her way, but she, at the end of the day, knows who wears the blue jeans in the family like I'm wearing right now. Um, I wear them tight. And I never take them off. Well, I guess I do sometimes. Um, I told you I suck at this. Um, favorite quality about Sarah. Sarah is the most nurturing person I know. She's the most nurturing person I've ever met. Um, she's kind. She's nice. She has a great personality. Um, she never meets a stranger. Um, you know, and those qualities have really come out since she started teaching. She's it just the nurturing that she gets with these kids. And, you know, the way she took in Bailey like she was her own and just we've created our little family is, is pretty awesome. But um, just how nice and kind and awesome she is. Um, just overall a great person um, in everything that I've wanted um, in a person. What do I look forward to most in marriage? I would say really... Um, just becoming our own little family, finally becoming our own little family. Um, we we kind of already are, but putting that in her last, you know, putting my last, giving my last name to her, and finally becoming this one entity of becoming with each other, and then you know, just becoming me, her, and Bailey, our own little family, is something I really look forward to. Um, hopefully, I did this right. Probably messed up a couple. Oh well, it happens sorry i hate questions she knows it she knows this is a big deal for me so don't judge me too hard and i had to write all of them down because i can't see it on my camera anyways